Well, a left-wing nonprofit organization founded by former White House Chief of Staff John Podesta may be lobbying on behalf of foreign governments. One America's Neil W. McKay reports from Washington. A One American News investigation into foreign governments meddling in American politics has revealed that allies of the United States are funding a Washington think tank that is one of the most left-wing opponents of President Donald Trump and his agenda. There is new scrutiny of foreign meddling after the Russians provided flawed opposition research to Hillary Clinton's campaign, research that ended up with her supporters in the FBI. The left-wing Center for American Progress is one of the most influential think tanks in Washington. With an annual budget of more than $40 million a year, its staff produces reports and testimony before Congress that advocate for immigration amnesty, restrictions on gun rights, and expanding access to abortion. It is no surprise that the center is bankrolled by progressive patrons such as George Soros, Bill Gates, and the Kellogg Foundation. But how many Americans suspect that foreign governments also support the think tank? Not only are these foreign governments supporting progressive political goals, they are also supporting some of the most radical opponents to President Donald Trump and his agenda. One American News has researched government filings and other public notices as part of its investigation going back to 2014, when bad publicity led to the center making its corporate sponsors, such as Ford Motor Company, Mitsubishi, and Fidelity Mutual Funds public. This is the embassy of the United Arab Emirates. There are roughly 2,500 U.S. military personnel stationed in the UAE, including pilots and crews for the F-22 Raptors. Since 2014, the United Arab Emirates has donated at least $1.5 million to the Center for American Progress. Next is Japan, which gave more than $600,000 from the embassy in D.C., the Japan Peace Foundation, the Sasakawa Institute, and the Japan Bank for International Cooperation. There are 13,000 U.S. Marines deployed to Japan's defense, in addition to the Navy's 13,000 sailors, 18 ships, and 100 aircraft that are part of the Navy's 7th Fleet, headquartered there. There is no way these governments could not know that the Center for American Progress is leading the charge against President Trump. This is the center's CEO, Neera Tandon, a protege of the center's founder, John Podesta. Please welcome the President and CEO of the Center for American Progress. I am so very proud to support Hillary Clinton. Here she is talking about the center's role in creating Obamacare, President Barack Obama's landmark health care reform that Tandon helped author. The Center for American Progress has been working on health care and, and actually uh, is, is one of the organizations that helped develop the Affordable Care Act. And here she is with Congressman Keith Ellerson, the vice chairman of the Democratic National Committee, talking about how to elect more Democrats in supporting the resistance to Trump. With the resistance summer and the activism we're seeing is, um, you know, it's not just a presidential year. I think that's what people understand, that there's governor's races, there are state legislative races. We have to win those governor's races. we got to win and them, yeah. Supporting the Center for American Progress is not the only way that foreign governments meddle in American politics and support the Democratic Party and the left-wing agenda. But few are so brazen. Neil W. McCabe, One America News, Washington. We can use your help. Call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call today.